Hello, and welcome to Transformation by Truth podcast, where the call become the chosen and those who have been dedicated to serve the Most High receive the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth as we progress our quest for holiness, perfection, and everlasting life. My name is D.L. Anderson. I'll be your tour guide. Let's get started with today's lesson. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast and the quest for holiness, perfection, and everlasting life. Today, we have another brief word from your host, a reminder that exciting times are on the way. Today's podcast is entitled Unification only comes by truth. I rejoice greatly because I found some of your children walking in truth as we received a command from the Father. 2 John 1, 4. The podcast objectives are reveal the most progressive society in our world, reveal how unification comes by following the way of truth, and analyze the importance of spiritual sight. Now, our first section is entitled, The Most Progressive Society. I would like to begin this podcast by revisiting the singular purpose of ministry. We touched on this topic in one of the more recent podcasts entitled, A Great Destroyer of Men. And I have been led to analyze this purpose at a more detailed level. As a refresher, I will again dictate the word of truth that reveals this singular purpose. I call upon you to receive it and live. Ephesians 4, 11 to 13 reveals, and he himself gave some as emissaries and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as shepherds and teachers for the perfecting of the set apart ones for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Messiah. Until we all come to the unity of the belief and of the knowledge of the Son of Elohim, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the completeness of Messiah. From these verses, we see that the singular purpose of ministry is trifold, i.e., it has three parts which, in line with the nature of the Spirit, exist as one, specifically as a cycle. Likewise, and in line with the conceptual model, these three parts can be divided into degrees, i.e., a fundamental degree which serves as a foundation, a focal degree, which serves as the body, and the critical degree, which serves as the key ingredient. As it pertains to ministry, its degrees are designed to achieve a crucial goal concerning the invisible body of Yahushua Messiah. That is, a progressive unity centered on our individual assimilation into his spiritual image and likeness. Like I have said before, when everyone in an assembly is progressing towards the point of perfection, a beautiful, wonderful thing occurs. That is, matchless edification in the most progressive society our world has ever known. Now, our next section is entitled, The Way of Truth. 
Well, I'm sure you can guess how often this level of edification has been achieved in our world. Whatever you conjecture, I assure you, we are not entertaining a high number of distinct occasions in times past or in times present. Despite this fact, the power and potential of this level of edification and the Father's ability to raise up men to lead such societies is not diminished. Trust me, his power is as formidable as it has ever been, and it will always be. And although many in the religious world are not experiencing it, I assure you, this transcendent model of edification is possible. It is real. I know because it is our reality. We experience it every day because everyone in our ministry is being led by the Spirit. Here's a question. Does the Spirit lead us into multiple different directions, altering confusion and strife? The answer is no. The Spirit is a singular entity and can only lead us in one direction. That is perfection, i.e. our completeness in the love of Elohim. 1 Corinthians 14.33 reads, Elohim is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the assemblies of the set-apart ones. Jeremiah 32, 38-39 reads, They shall be my people, and I shall be their Elohim, and I shall give them one heart and one way, to fear me all the days, for the good of them and of their children after them. John 10, 7-9 reads, Yahushua therefore said to them again, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. I am the door. Whoever enters through me, he shall be saved and shall go in and shall go out and find pasture. These verses strengthen our case on the progressive unity of the Spirit and those who are truly being led by him. We are not a divided body of false believers and doctrines of devils. Quite the contrary. We are a unified body of faithful men and women who live and die for the truth. For this cause, we are becoming more and more unified every day. Trust me, the truth is the only factor capable of uniting men and women despite their backgrounds and their differences. This is precisely why the Spirit has been designed to lead us into all truth. As Elohim is not the author of confusion, His Spirit must lead us down the only path that can unite us, and that is the path to perfection, the way of truth. Now, our next section is entitled, A Premium on Spiritual Sight. This brings us back to the singular purpose of the ministry. That is, to unify all who have been called in the belief and the knowledge of Yahushua Messiah, the son of Elohim, the perfect man, and the standard by which we are chosen to inherit everlasting life. Being unified in the belief and knowledge of Yahushua Messiah is beyond crucial, and for more reasons than I can tell you. Yet, namely, it is because the religious circuit is filled with many false messiahs. 
Alas, these false gods are deceiving millions around the world, leading them down one of the many paths that lead to death. Remember, there is only one path that leads to everlasting life, and only a faithful few will find it. Matthew 24, 23 to 25 reads, If anyone then says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or there, do not believe, for false messiahs and false prophets shall arise, and they shall show great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the chosen ones. See, I have forewarned you. Here lies the inflection. These are the, these false messiahs and prophets are showing signs and wonders. In some cases, they may indeed appear to be performing the miraculous, that is, to the untrained spiritual eye. 1 Corinthians 11, 13 through 15 reads, For such are false emissaries, deceptive workers, masquerading as emissaries of Messiah. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising, then, if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Here's a question. Seeing as the enemy has transformed himself and his false prophets to appear as agents of goodwill, how are we able to distinguish them from the true agents of light? The answer, by the set-apart spirit of Elohim, and there is no other way. My dear friends, you must appreciate the complex, comprehensive nature of truth. I.e., when Yahushua Messiah revealed that the Spirit would lead us into all truth, he wasn't just referring to the truth as it pertains to the Scriptures. On the contrary, he was referring to the truth universally. That includes the true nature of everyone proclaiming to be a member of the invisible body, Yahushua Messiah, the key word being invisible. That is, undetectable by physical sight. This reality puts a premium on spiritual sight. Trust me, you're not going to get too far without it. Therefore, I admonish you to always follow the Spirit and allow Him to lead you into the belief and the knowledge of Yahushua Messiah. If you do, you will not be led astray. Rather, you will be led to an assembly where your spiritual sight becomes stronger as you are edified by each member every single day. After all, that is why you're here. Now, here is the final word. The goal of ministry is unification. And unification only comes by truth. One of the primary reasons why institutions fail and societies collapse is because they are not unified. They are not one. We call it being on the same page, a fundamental requirement of every model of corporate growth. Seeing as the invisible body, Yahushua Messiah, is destined for great things in this life and the life to come, we must be unified by the spirit of truth and the standard of perfection which has been revealed to the chosen elect. 
here again. This is the goal of ministry. And we are going to break down this goal into its three primary phases in the next podcast. Now, here is the assignment for today. As you have time, please go back and review all the podcasts I have posted thus far to aid you as you prepare for the quest ahead. And as always, please reach out to me directly if you have any questions. Now, here is what's next. We completed today's podcast, Unification Only Comes by Truth. The next podcast is TBD. My goal is to post it by Wednesday, but all the contents in the title, I don't have that quite yet. But what I do have is a spirit, and I promise to be led by the spirit, and I trust you will too. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Remember to tune in with us every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And if you haven't already, visit us at www.pinnacleofholiness.com and make sure you sign up to join the quest for holiness, perfection, and everlasting life 2022.